Well, hey, you fuckers. Welcome to the Terrible Podcast. I'm Nick. I'm Brad. And we're going to talk about some shit today. Brad? We're going to talk about some shit. We're here to bring shit up. We're here. To, we're going to give you some shit. So let's do it. Let's bring up some shits. We're wrapped in a bow. We're going to wrap our shit in a bow. Yeah. And we're going to talk gonna, about it. We're going to put it under the Christmas tree. Merry Christmas. Here's some shit from Nick and Brad <laughs> here at the Terrible Podcast. Right. I'm Nick. I'm Brad. And we're going to talk about some shit. We are. <laughs> We had some Mexican food earlier. How'd you like your meal, buddy? Oh, it was really good. Break it, break it down for us. Break it down now, y'all. Um, I don't like beans, so I got a burrito sans the beans. Sans the beans. Comic sans the beans. I got a burrito comic sans the beans. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Um, this guy's got a, uh, he got himself a burrito, no magical fruit. Yeah, I'm not trying to toot. Mm-hmm. Um... Just so you what's know. crazy is the opposite of that is right. what's happened. <laughs> yeah, it did not work. I've yeah. been tooting. He is just he's, he's full of toots. Yeah. Well, you know. I'd just like to comment and say um, a second ago when I said because this guy's full of toots. Yeah, what the that fuck was, was well, that, dude? That was supposed to this guy. Mm. He's full of toots. This is what you actually said, though. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you did that's the whole thing Pretty that's much, how it was dude. that's what you sounded like i didn't even get out the word toots nope boy i thought i got the word toots out. nope you just started whimpering oh wow <laughs> this guy boy if that's the case then my reality is breaking down oh yeah that no dude you terrible. are out of your mind on on drugs more lost sleep than de- deprivation would. sleep destination yeah okay we all fuck up all right, I'm human yeah. as well. I no. also made a yeah. mistake. Yeah. How about that? How much is this fucking table weight, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, chime off in the comments about <laughs> what just, what just <laughs> transpired there. Let us know in the comments how much this table weighs. I'm going <laughs> to fucking flip it over. That's the yeah. thing. I'm going to flip this table, but I'm, I need to know how much it weighs first. Yeah, so you can work it into the... Because I'm fairly weak. Okay. But I can't lift too many pounds. Makes sense. Yeah. You know, so I'm I'm capable, but, like, I'm going to have to cut myself off at, like, 40 pounds. I feel like that's a safe cutoff point. Anything over yeah. 40, I'm like, I might hurt myself. Yeah, I don't want to give yourself a hernia or anything like that. Dude. Ugh. I'm not trying to have those bumps pop out of my uh, crotchal region. Just right out of the tip of your penis. I don't think. Is that what a hernia kind of is? Is when, nope. like... Nope. Oh. It's a totally different thing. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Yikes. Am I right? Sound off in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> we Let's do that. Let's never actually have comments. Let's disable comments on but anything tell, that we can, but, but say, always tell people on. to sound off in them. Right on. Because we're dicks mm-hmm. here at the Terrible Podcast. That's a bit. Uh, yeah, we were doing a bit. We're That's all about the bit. bits around this, around this bits. Uh, hey, Brad. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? Oh, uh, you know, living the life, just uh, do dick in the day away. <laughs> All right, do That's dick great... in the day away. Dip just it low and pick it up slow, yeah. oh boy. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> That's exactly right. Oh lord, it's a lovely Saturday evening. It is very uh, nice out in our world right now. Yeah, so we are sitting in a garage recording a podcast. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably the first truly perfectly beautiful day of the year we've had some nice days so far but this one's straight perf yeah straight up perf today's a straight up perf day with a perf eve (laughs) swear to g (laughs) um yeah i'm 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 glad the weather's nice i'm ready to play some fucking golf dude I'm ready to play some bocce ball. That's starting yep. this month. Ready to play some bocce ball. Ready to sit outside and drink some beers. Yeah. Uh, this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Heineken. No, uh, it's, not. it's not. It's brought to you by me drinking some Heineken. And uh, they're they not gave us. Me. They gave. They gave them zero dollars. Nothing to say that they don't even know what's happening. So. Yeah. Technically, I, I I paid them. And yeah. Here I am drinking this beer. Or they might be like, hey, don't do that. You need to take that down. We don't want to be uh, involved with yeah. you guys. Yeah. With your type. What is our type, Brad? What type of dudes are we? What type of show is this? 
I think we're like the what like the twenty one to thirty six age range demographic, that's, probably yeah, that's mostly demo. male. Oh, dude, entirely male. Are you kidding? I mean, my wife might listen. Maybe yeah, your girlfriend. Maybe that's probably it, though. Yeah. Anyway, what's up, fellas? Yeah. Hey, world. What's up, all you dudes? What up, dudes? <laughs> what's up, mainly men? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna talk about some shit. Yeah. Uh, dude, uh, we went and saw that movie Us today. Mm-hmm. How was that for you? It was fucked. I, I don't, I don't even know if I like it. And I feel bad saying that because I love Jordan Peele and I loved, um, Get Out was a really, uh, it was a terrific movie, but dude, Us was really weird and, and not in the flattering, awesome way. Yeah. But just in like the you need to watch a couple YouTube breakdowns of it so you can know what you weren't appreciating. Yeah, and then judge it from there. Well, that's definitely my next step. But right now, yeah. I'm just like it's like what, watch what's the deal with us? Yeah, or fucking uh, exploring us. I love shit like that on YouTube. I go down rabbit holes. Those are, it used to be like conspiracy rabbit holes, but now I'm like. All right, what's this fucking really niche fucking horror anthology on Adult Swim at three o'clock in the morning about? You know, yeah. what I mean? uh, there was the one I showed you called "Unedited Footage of a Bear," and that is like a that it's just a it's a trip, dude. Like you don't know what the fuck. Not and sure it's that very, I remember that. Well, I mean, we were probably intoxicated. Wow. But it's super cool. Wow. I mean, if anybody gets a chance and you want to get your mind fucked on for like a few, <laughs> for like ten minutes, go watch that shit because it'll leave you not knowing what you feel. It's called unedited footage of a bear. Unedited footage of a bear. I would like to watch it. We'll watch it here at some point. I'm, I mean, I'm down. Yeah, it's we'll like six thirty or something right now. So yeah, we got plenty of time. And then there was another one called uh, like I just love the titles. For the most part, as well. Yeah. I mean, the content's just wild. You're like, holy shit. But the titles are pretty zany. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so this other, the other one I saw... <laughs> the other one I watched was uh, called This House Has People In It. Okay. And uh, that one's pretty wild as well. But I guess um, I was watching some shit on this channel. It's one of these two, I guess. Shout outs to both of them because they're good either nightmare masterclass or night mind anyways he was kind of breaking down that this has this house has people in it shit and there's like fucking the initial little show they showed on adult swim at whatever hour of the morning and then around that there's like three different websites and like a bunch of secret paths you can take if you decode just wild shit Whoa, stuff dude. that i would never do yeah you know i mean like i don't have the time for it but apparently there's just there's a whole fucking wild creepy really hidden universe to explore there's like a a total of like 11 hours worth of footage or something like that that you can watch from this a whole bunch of shit that you can explore and so it's you can burn, you can you can burn a whole day with this oh yeah more uh, more than that i imagine but there's just so much content a bunch of like documents and shit hidden in websites and all that that are all in relation to the you know universe that yeah this story takes place and it's wild because you know it's when you watch it you're like what the fuck is going on and uh you're like well that was that was weird i don't know why it was cool but that was weird i'm game dude i i like i i i obviously love scary stuff yeah i grew up on it and i like weird shit that makes you go like what 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 but that's what it was after us, but but just in the worst way. Like it wasn't. Oh my god, what? It was what? <laughs> I I didn't make those sound very different, but I hope that it makes sense. It made sense, dude. To me. I I just I don't know. I, I don't know. Everybody should see it. Obviously, it's probably great, and I'm an idiot. Um, dude, I watch uh, a channel called Dead Meat. Okay. It's this guy James A. Janice. Shout outs, James Janice. He does, um, he calls them the kill count. Oh, okay, so like, I got you. But it's not just like, here's a bunch of people getting killed by a fucking scary, scary guy, whatever. You know, it's like, he, he, he basically does a rundown of the entire movie. 
but <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> but uh, he, uh, you know, he he counts how many kills there are, and he does like statistics and analysis at the end of it. It's fucking cool. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it's that's, it's uh, really cool. That's the kind of stuff I like. James A. Janice, shout out. What's up? What's up, Dub? <laughs> What's up? Keep up the good work. I believe in you, homie. Doing good stuff. Uh, Doing good stuff. Agents. Yeah, no, I like you too. That's why. I, uh, I guess ultimately what I was getting to with all that shit was I like those channels that kind of break down shit that I'm just not smart enough or didn't have the time to put together after watching something the first or second time or whatever. You know, like I watched something like unedited footage of a bear and I was like, what the fuck is that, man? Mm. So then I watched a guy and he's like, this is what this is. And it's this is fucking, what the fuck that and was. And it's fucking crazy, dude. Check yeah. it out. And then... You know, <laughs> you know, Dig it in, dude. It's like, Sweet. I'm fucking creeped out. That was awesome. So, <laughs> hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Bears. Sounds like there's a kid crying in there. Oh yeah, it does. That's not mine. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. So we're doing this show in the garage. Mm. Meanwhile, my wife and your girlfriend are in there with uh, children, and one of them is screaming profusely right now. And I don't think it's mine. I don't think it's yours either. I don't think it's mine. No, it doesn't sound like yours. Nope. Everything's fine. Fucking way she goes, brother. Way she fucking, fucking goes. Way she goes. Way she fucking. That's the fucking way she goes. Boy's probably tired or something. Something. What? Uh, Boy might be tired. Hey, what else do you know about Brad? That's Let me stop you. Because you don't know shit, dog. Oh. Want to know why? Why? I'm just kidding. Oh. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everything's oh. fine. You Everything's fine. Going. You, you really had me going. I was like, do I not know shit? I want to try to confront you about something. Do I not know in, shit? In every episode. Okay. Just the, there's was, always, that, was that 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 was my attempt, and I was like, I can't think anything. Brad pretty much knows oh. most of his shit. Mm. You do. Dude. <laughs> that kid is getting buck. <laughs> That's a buck kid right That there. kid's getting buck, dude. That's a buck kid. Um... Somebody needs to go in there and shout at him. That always fixes the problem. Do you think? Dude, when my kid is like having a mental breakdown, I'm like, I know what I'll do. I'll stand up and aggressively yell at him. Yeah. And that fixes everything. I might see what's going on. Do you want to You want to header this sure, for a second uh, or you want yeah, to pause yeah. it? Cool, you go in. Or, uh, or we can take a break. Go right. Way. No, dude, I got this. All right. I got this. It'll be the uh, Neek show for a second, everybody. Right. Just go check that out. I'm gonna leave you with Nick Pedigo. Get off the. Get off. Get out of here, dude. Okay. Oh my god. Listen. Oh. That's a sad baby. Um. Oh my god. I'm nervous. I've never talked to everybody just by myself before. Hey man. You know that song. It's like, do 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 do, and the guy's like, "Picture this: I'm a bag of dicks." Hey, that's on everything now. Is the point I'm trying to make? It's in every movie preview, uh, almost every commercial, and I noticed it's like, it'll be it'll be like halfway in the middle of the preview, and it's like when the gang comes up with their plan, it's like, "All right, so here's what we're gonna do." Do 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 do. Picture dicks, I'm a bag of dicks, or whatever he says. And I don't know what to do about it, because it's it's the new, um, I feel good! Na, 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 na. That used to be in every preview, and now it's the pictured shits in the bags of dicks uh, song. Brad, welcome back. What the fuck's going on in there? Nothing. He was just upset, I guess, about Clearly. something. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're outside now. So oh, good. It's all good. Yeah, Brad narrowed it down. Oh, man, he was, uh, ups- what had happened? He was upset. About something. Yeah. And so he cried. Yeah. And now I'm back in the garage. There was something bugging him. But then they went outside and he's cool now. Brad was like, he was... <laughs> Is that what's going on? Is that what's going on? Dude, try it for real. I should have grabbed You should have grabbed a beer. I hey. I should have grabbed a Fucking go. Beverage. I have no problem doing this show by myself. All right. Well, you fucking fit. Hey, grab me one, will you? Okay. All right. 
Just go ahead and grab one, you fucking asshole. Earlier when Brad walked in, he flipped my hat. And I, I tried to let it go, but... Dude, I don't like when people flip my hat. So what's going to happen is Brad's going to come back out here. And we're just going to ask him why he flipped my hat. Because the way I see it, dog... We're not kids anymore. We're not fucking kids anymore. Brad, I, I need to ask you a question, buddy. Come on, sit down. Have a seat. Let's talk. Thanks for grabbing me that beer. Remember, Earth, remember? Ooh, I didn't get a can. Oh, God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> you didn't get a bottle of it. I didn't get a bottle. I'm fucking that up. Yeah, remember um, the first time you went inside and you flipped my hat? Oh, yeah, a little bit. I didn't, okay. like, flip it off your head, though. Yeah, I just yeah, tapped it. I tapped it to insinuate that it was a possibility, you like, the old, days, you like the old my hat. days. You flip my hat. Like get, the old days. These guys used you, to get really mad about it. it can I ask you a question? Cool. Yeah. Am I a fucking bitch, dude? <laughs> I don't know, are you? <laughs> did you, you get really mad about hat? Did you stand up and think, I'm going to walk to the kitchen real quick, but I'm going to flip this dude's hat because he's a fucking bitch? Yeah. Oh, exactly what i thought all right question number two yeah like why am i such a bitch like what can i do to fix that i mean that's more like a dr phil style thing to go with ask dr phil i would ask dude i would hang out with dr phil do you want to go grab a fucking bottle opener I i feel like it's an issue I'm just looking for something to use. Yeah, there's no bottle openers out here. Um, tell you what, folks, we're gonna take a pause for yeah, the cause. You can use no, a lot of things as a we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna quick... try and do this with a lighter. Okay, I've actually, seen it done a bunch of times. Let's see how this goes. And I don't like. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the best at it. But... So Brad is firmly grasping the beer bottle, and he's got a lighter lodged up underneath the the cap. And dude, he is struggling. He's yeah. trying his hardest. Oh, oh! Got it. It did it. I can't believe my fucking eyeballs, Brad. That was so dope, dude. I knew I'd seen it done before. I didn't know that was a real thing. Yeah. Uh, one time, I was like, well, I guess I was, I mean, well, I'm about to admit to underage drinking. I was like 19 or 20, and, uh, and, and I was living in an apartment at the time, and we had this party, and somebody misplaced the bottle opener. And I was trying to open my beer, and I was talking to this girl. And I'm like, no, I, just, I was trying to be cool. I was like, oh, I'll do it on the countertop, is what I say to myself, you know. And yeah. like, instead, what I did was smash the top of the bottle and <laughs> cut my hand on the cap and like knocked off the little side piece of paneling of, of the counter. Great job. The beer did not open. Oh. But, <laughs> but all these other things happened. <laughs> And I was like, ah, oh, oh, we should find that can <laughs> bottle opener instead. This is irresponsible. Somebody's gonna get hurt. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's great. There's no way to play that off. Yeah. Well, we're gonna. Dude, pass no. Away. I was trying to open her beer for her. Oh. That's what made it even worse. Oh, yeah. I'm like, here, I gotta check this out. Cut myself. Break my house. Fuck. I yeah. suck. I'm oh God. The worst. Um. So boy, that didn't turn out well for anybody. Did no, it? it didn't. She was unsatisfied. I was made a fool of in That's my own great. house. If I was there, I would have laughed, which is bad because it's not what a good friend does. I would have supported you after I got a good laugh out. But moments <laughs> like that are thanks, buddy. You would have applied like bandages that. for me. It's like all right. So like, it's, you're what it's, uh, I think of you as a hero, like you're a god, right? Hell yeah, brother. You're a god to me, brother. Hell yeah, right? really? you're a fucking god to me. And so I it's nice. The fuck out so of you, it's brother. nice when I get to see you cut down to fucking size. Oh, dude, I, I hate it. <laughs> like at the one show when you just had your, and it was a big show at the planet, and you just had gotten your oh wireless god. set up, and you know, like uh, you were all peer pressured <laughs> by our singer to go yeah, into that's the crowd. The thing. It wasn't my fault. It was our singer was like, dude, you need to get out there. You have a wireless set now. But there's a million reasons why that's a terrible idea. Right. Like in retrospect, I think about it. I'm like, how many other guitar players have I seen trying to bump into people in the crowd in the middle of a song? Like, what the fuck? But instead, I drank the Kool-Aid and I went out. We were playing a battle of the bands. Yeah. So it was, uh, you know, a bigger crowd than we were used to. Big deal. 
It was a big fucking thing. Oh, a big fucking thing. We came in there and we fucking played our hunts out and it was a big fucking thing. And then we fucking pulled it down. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I went out there and I bumped into one person and everything came unplugged. And just I had to... Fi- first I had to look around on the dark floor... Their lights were off because yeah, it's a I've fucking never, show. I've never, I don't think I've ever really heard like what you had to do. Dude, I had to walk around. It probably took me like 20, 30 seconds to find the thing. Then I grabbed it. And so your whole deal came off like your dude. Your the, hip it, and everything. it all came unplugged. Yeah, and flew to the floor. Yeah, so it's yeah. not like oh, I just need to plug this thing back nope. in. that's on my side. Nope, still. it fell out of my guitar. It's just like whoop, there and, it goes, and onto the floor, uh, surrounded by drunk. Onto people. a violent floor. Yeah, a violent floor. A violent of, f- fucking of, floor. Yeah, a floor full of people who are like, oh, it's cool. This guy's out here. I'm gonna touch him and push him. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna grab this guy's wiener. Hey, man, bump into that guy. He's out here. Yeah. Uh, so I He's finally out here find to it. Get bumped into. I and I I saunter. I saunter back up to the stage. Yeah. Defeated. Sad. Oh, dude. Deflated. You should have and seen. Defeated. You should have seen just his forlorn demeanor. This fella. <laughs> it was not good. I was, was I was forlorn as fuck. Yeah, family. I mean, you were looking at a gentleman who was very clearly like, defeated. I, that's a really accurate that's way. The best way to put it, dude. I got beat. You couldn't look him in the eyes because they were right at the floor. The fucking the the system Glued. beat me. Yeah, glued to the fucking head as down as it could be. So, Walked back up onto a stage, got shit figured out, and we started playing again. But holy shit, from my perspective, oh, God. and all this is on video, I have no idea where. It's it's I one of find those it. Yeah, like, I know we I could, could we can find it. it. It's on YouTube somewhere, but like we might need to find it. Anyways. Oh my god, I'm gonna find the it. The shit from my perspective was some of the funniest shit that I have ever <laughs> seen in my life. But it's because you're such a god tier individual. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my mind. Upper that's, echelon, and for I, sure. I just love seeing gods get cut down. Dude. That's it's your fucking <laughs> Yeah. First of all Boy, they busted that pedestal you were on in half. <laughs> <laughs> and like I, so, 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 so I witnessed the fall. That was great. Yeah. I, um it was a real, you know, it's nice to be brought back down to earth every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, I know that I'm great. That's good. So. I'm also a believer that, you know, to perform at a level as such, you need to be confident enough to perform at a level. Mm-hmm. I'm so confident. Can, you know, I'm, I'm confident good. in the fact that I am fucking great. This guy's fucking pretty good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm confident in the fact that I fucking walk in and shut it down okay i'm How do confident you, do that? you got some steps to that. there's a big switch and i just i flip it off and next thing you know it's you're shutting it down yeah i fucking i walk in there and i say hi to people i shake a few hands i fucking if there's a baby i'm gonna they kiss go away. it's nicky wallace yeah, fucking nicky wallace over here <laughs> Oh, fuck, look out. This guy shuts it down. Party's over. And then it's fucking done, dude. Because I flipped that switch, homie. Homie. Dude, I flipped that switch. And it's over. I fucking shut it down. That's crazy. Time to go home. Hey, you don't have to go home. But you can't stay here because I fucking shut it down. Nikki Wallets. Nikki Wallets. Anybody see Nikki Wallets? That's, uh, that's pretty. Sounds like quite the process. Um, it's um it seems like exhausting efficient at it i guess dude i get really tired it's like you know the weekend i'm just trying to relax just too busy shutting it down just gotta shut it down and when i'm not shutting it down i'm harvesting gems homeboy just out there har- gem harvesting fuck god this i'm a guy. really busy guy that's what i was trying to say that's why i'm so confident in my greatness it's because all i do is shut it down and harvest gems that's 100 percent correct you're like uh the the beginning of Aladdin. What? When uh, the whole je- the whole place that holds the fucking magic lamp or whatever rises out of the sand, and they're like, "Oh, that's the fucking place," and they find there's gems and shit. I don't know, something like that. Lava. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Totally. I've been there. They're like a diamond in the rough. It was a lion head, I think. It was, a, it was like it. a tiger. Um, yeah, and there he goes. You go. He goes. Proceed. Ooh. Hold on, I got more. Ooh. Touch nothing but the lamp. Wow, have you been practicing that, like, leading to this moment? I didn't, that was... You know what it was? What? I was confident that I could do it. Bro. Dog. You're changing my life. 
<laughs> Brad's gonna sneeze. Well, for, <laughs> I had a sneeze. He's gonna sneeze, but instead it, it whimpered out of him. I told you, folks. All this kid does is whimper. <laughs> Oh, there it is. He's like, all right, I'm going to start a sentence. All right, I'm going to can let go of this sentence now. <laughs> Fuck. Dude. That sneeze was about to hit, dude. Yeah. I swear to God, that's the closest I've come to sneezing and not actually sneezing in a long time because <laughs> that was right there. I've never understood why people, oh man, I should, I need to be careful how I word this because my wife does it. Okay. I worry about the people that are about to sneeze and then just fucking don't. Like force it in? Yeah. Like they, they go, <laughs> yeah, it's like this. It's like, it, no, it you're goes, gonna give yourself a fucking aneurysm. It goes it, mm. You know, and, and I'm like, God, just it's okay to sneeze. Yeah. Every, we gotta sneeze the sometimes. The only time I hold a sneeze like that is if it is fucking dire. Like I am standing over a salad bar and there's nowhere to turn. I'm oh no, yeah, people. I'm still and doing like, it. Like I'm still really good at sneezing right into my elbow, but like it's there has there's gotta be an ultra specific reason I would ever hold one in because that fucking hurts. Dude, I can give you a fucking... You pop a blood vessel in your eye and shit. That'll be the end. Be walking around like a fucking freak yeah. for like... I've just never understood... However long that takes to heal. You're not a freak if you have a pop vessel in your eye. Yeah, you're okay. Don't, I'm, you're okay. I'm just playing around. I've actually had several but of those. Things. I remember uh, my grandpa had a wood chip go in his eye when I was younger and it popped a vessel. And then for like the next week, I was fucking terrified of him because he looked so scary. Really? Yeah, it was wild. I mean, like, he was okay. It wasn't, like, a dramatic event. It wasn't like, oh, my God! And then we had to go to the hospital. <laughs> he was just like, oh, man, so, you know, something in my eye. And then uh, he's like, yeah, no, I'm going to go get that checked out. He was a hardened individual. Sounds I mean, like still it, is. dude. He's still alive. It sounds he's, like he's real man individual. stuff. Grandpa Phil, shout outs. He's, he, he, Grandpa Phil sounds like he probably has real strong hands, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, uh. I mean, probably. That was something I always gauged like adulthood off of. How strong your hands are. Was like a guy shake looks, my hand right now. The guy looks like he can open a jar of pickles shake fairly hand. easily. All right, shake. Yeah, I thought you were about to try to hurt me. No. Yeah, and I'm like, no. why? Why? No, I'm also, not gonna be like. I'm not gonna do the thing where you like roll the pinky. God, or whatever. dude, I hated those. I kids. can do it. You want to feel? No, it I don't. You want to? I don't. It? I'm not gonna like do it. I understand how it works. I just don't want you I to do it. I just want to do it once. So I don't want you to do it. Okay. We're not gonna do it. All right. Fucking shows up, shutting it down. No, that's fine. Show's over. We're not gonna do it. All right, let's do it. Ready? Yeah. Shit. You ready? Yep. Oh no no no, Did no I do dude! It? Did I do it? Yeah, you started okay. doing it. I felt. Well, say so you got a pretty wide hand, so I couldn't like get. Well, that's what my she knuckle said. Knuckle around there like a. She said that. Couldn't get my knuckle around there like that's, a woman. That's what but anyways, she said. okay. Right on. Yeah. Um. No, I hate that. I had a friend. Yeah, yeah uh, understandably so. Who my friend always Dale always did that. Oh yeah. Shout out to Dale. It's like, Dale, that just fucking hurts, bro. Yeah. Why are you doing that to me? He also went through a phase in like fourth grade where he would just straight up headbutt people. Oh, God. <laughs> he would, dude. He'd be like, oh, well, and then headbutt. Headbutt. I hope you heard that. I headbutted the microphone. Wasn't childhood just a fucking wild experience? It was the worst, dude. That was... That's not true. I had a pretty dope childhood, honestly. Like, we just, it's, it's, you fucking saw and did a bunch of dumb shit just the entire time. At least yeah. that was my experience. No, yeah, I I rarely <laughs> did smart or good things as yeah. a child. I mean, I wasn't, like, a bad kid, but, like, I was always, you know, jumping off at shit. Yeah. And like, like uh, electronics weren't an absolute staple yet. Yeah. When I was a kid, like, don't get me wrong. We had, this is what I remember having, uh, SNES, and then the Sega Genesis, and then we got a PlayStation, and then we got a PS2, so on and so forth. But, like, so the capability was there, but, like, we were still in the era of... Uh, playing outside. Just playing outside and yeah. stuff. I, and this is, here's an unpopular opinion, all right? Uh -oh. Just a quick one. I think kids still play outside. Yeah. I don't think they ever stop playing outside. Yeah. Um, my kids love it outside. Yeah. Like, people are just naturally attracted to outside. It's mm -hmm. kind of like, yeah, it's not, you're not like, oh, they're fucking stuck inside forever now. It's like, no, they want to go outside. Don't. Dude. What kind of false illusion are you painting here? Anyways. Uh... Yeah, like, but it was like, what do we have to do? It's like, I'm bored with fucking Metal Gear Solid, Sons of Liberty, so I'm going to go ride my bike off of dirt hills and see what's going down, you know what I mean? Yeah. My thing, my favorite like thing that. was finding a stick, dude. I used to love to find a stick and then break it uh, by smashing it into a tree. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, I'm going to pretend like this is, and then whatever, a guitar, uh, a fucking 
a bat and I'm a really good baseball player and yeah, I smash the ball. Break the fuck out of it. Yeah, I just break the fuck out of the bat because I'm so strong. I like and finding good at long, baseball. skinny, sturdy sticks that you could like repeatedly break the end off of. Oh, yeah. Like, what cow? What cow? Just make it shorter and shorter. Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Really Makes you well. feel like a scientist. But also, you know, finding the biggest branch you can or whatever and seeing how you can break that. Or yeah. And then, yeah, okay, dude, stuff. my go to, my You're absolute favorite off your thing bike to do. directly into a locust tree at high speed, thorny bastards. What? No. Yeah, that's, that's happened before. We did that. Sucks. Not on purpose. That wasn't like, I, you know, I'm Brad, welcome to Jackass. Thing. That <laughs> that's kind of like, what it sounded like. That at was first. not on purpose. Yeah. That was 0% on purpose. That's just getting down a hill and getting a little loose. There happens to be a locust tree down there, and you kind of beef. Beef your beef your shit off into it. <laughs> Always beefing my shit, dude. Mm-hmm. Made me super uncomfortable. Yeah, childhood's wild. Um, childhood is wild. Hey, Brad, what have we learned today? Well, the childhood. First things wild. first. I'm not a bitch. Yeah, we learned that Neeks probably not a bitch. Yet again, we learned I'm not a bitch, and in fact, I'm great, dead. and I'm yeah. good at stuff, and I'm confident. And I'm hitting the table because I mean it, man. And I'm sorry I hit the table, guys. Sometimes he hits it. Is he the only professional in here? Am I the only fucking professional? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was good. Well, this has been the terrible podcast. Uh, uh, I am Brad. I'm Nick. And, uh, you know, go fuck yourself. Yeah.